Hi, welcome to GG Mix. Today I've got a different kind of video. I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to show you how to cut a jackfruit, but I'm also going to try it for the first time and, oops, and let you know what jackfruit actually tastes like. This fruit is the largest tree fruit in the world and it grows up to about 80 or 100 pounds. It's like a big massive fruit like that. And when you cut into it, there's like loads of latex that comes out of it. So there's a little prep work that needs to be done before we can actually eat it but i'll show you that in a minute but you know what this fruit is meant to taste like chewing gum yeah so i'm really excited to try this but first let me show you how i've prepped up so i don't get all this latex and rubbery stuff all over my kitchen and my hands so what i've done here is i've laid out loads of clean film on my table so i can just pick it up and then have to clean it later i've got a bowl of oil i'm using vegetable oil because there's like no flavor to it because if i use olive oil or coconut oil it's going to give me a different flavor to my jackfruit and i don't want the flavor to go into my jackfruit i've got three plates one for the jackfruit one for the seeds and one for like the white you know that there's a fibrous bit inside it as well so you can use the seeds if you want to cook them later they say if you boil them they're meant to taste like the consistency of potato but i haven't done that yet i'm going to oil my hands first and then i'm going to oil my, oil, my chopping board so they say pull the yellow bit out so pull the yellow bit out take the fibrous bit out get rid of the seeds i am supposed to eat this bit it smells nice you know what it smells like? It smells like Nemespila. What do you think? Nemespila. They're like orange with the brown thing. You know what I'm talking about, innit? No, the orange things. Those great things, the orange. I'll Google it and I'll put it down where it is. Alright, ready? Am I eating the right bit, do you think? Let me try this bit. Let me just try this bit. It's a bit tough, isn't it? Maybe it's not ripe, but it's meant it's meant to be ripe, yeah? Let me try this bit. I don't even have to make the right bit. It's meant to be ripe when it smells. It tastes like it's got the consistency of like hard melon. We get inside some more. All right, so this is the the little sacks that the nut, not the nuts, the seeds are in. So this is the seed. So this is the pod. Why is it not soft? Mmm. No, it was good. Hold on, let me close my eyes. got like, doesn't taste like chewing gum. It tastes like something tropical. It tastes like a tropical fruit. You know what? You try it and tell me what you think it tastes like. Have a bite. It doesn't taste like tropical fruit. I mean, chewing gum. Close your eyes and let it concentrate. Mmm. See when you go, you know when you go right into the middle bit, like this bit. Look at this bit. This is like there's loads of this bit. All right. This is like really fruity, but the rest of it is fruity. But it's not as this is like like we know right in the middle, so you know where the seed would sit. So if I get, there's not even there's not even a lot of seeds in this. Do you think like he bumped us? See, this is this is the seed, yeah. If you eat this bit right in the middle where the seed sits, that is like juicy. And then the rest of it is, there's not a lot. Mouth feels a bit itchy. What do you think it tastes like? Mm, this bit is good. It's quite nice. It's, it's a bit like a hard mango. Mm. And then it's got a, <clears throat> a bit of a taste in the background that I don't know what it is. It doesn't taste like this, does it? Mm. This. This is our chewing gum. 
You're wondering, that's in Greek. It doesn't, does it? Nope, but do you think it's Sorry. meant to be this hard? It needs to, like, is... It's quite nice, though. Mmm. Would you say mango is the closest thing you can... Mango or... And between mango and, and pineapple, isn't it? Yeah. Mango and pineapple. <coughs> How much was it? Six pound what was this size? Six pound a kilo. Six pound eighty a kilo. Six eighty a kilo, so it's quite expensive. This has got the consistency of like a melon, isn't it? The hard melon, mm. would you say? I don't know if this is meant to be this hard, because when I've seen like videos on it, and you see it on, pi on like pictures, it looks like it's meant to be really soft. But this isn't that soft. I know, my tongue feels a bit funny as well. Can you still look at all this? There's not a lot. Of, oops! There's not a lot of seeds in this either. So this is all the the fibrous bits that you that you're not meant to eat. So you don't eat all the fibrous bits, but you pour. Okay, look at this one. This one might be a juicy one. Let's pop pop this one up. Oops! Hands are a bit oily. See, so look at that. We pop that out. So we'll keep that to eat, and then this. I think it pops out like that. And then they say that you should keep these and boil them and then you can cook them. And they're, consist they're meant to have the cons consistency of potatoes. But I don't know if I want to try that. Do you want to try that? Mm -mm. Can I have another piece of fruit? You want another bit? Let me give you this, do this, the juicy one that was like this. Do this one? Try this one that was shut, yeah? And see if it tastes any different. And if this is what you do. So peel it off. Like, it's quite fun, like it's like a bit therapeutic trying to peel the bits off. My tongue feels a bit itchy. I wonder if I've got like, you know when you have pineapple sometimes and you get itchy mouth? This is a bit like that. Maybe it's the latex. Is your tongue gone itchy? I <sighs> should stop eating it, innit? So look, you see all this fibrous bits, you peel it off. And then pop, pop the gorkona, or you wanna call it a seed. Yet. I finished um, taking all the jackfruit out of all the casing and this is how much I got out of six pounds six pounds in actual pounds money English money is worth which was about one kilo of jackfruit my verdict is I don't know see it's nice and fruity but it's not as fruity as I expected it to be. Also, it's left like, you know, when you eat like a, like a fruit that's, that's not ripe, it's like when it's unripe and it makes leaves like that fuzzy sort of taste on your tongue and your mouth. That's what I had, so I don't know if it's ripe or not. I expected it to be ripe, oops. I expected it to be ripe because the skin is brown, whereas when they grow on a tree, it's actually green. And so I thought as it's gone brown, it's like ready. It smells fruity. like a cross between mango, pineapple, and something else. I can't put my finger on it, but it, that's what it smells like. I would buy it again, just to see if these should be like a bit softer or not. I don't know if it's meant to be this like thick. Like I, don't, I, I just assumed when I've watched loads of videos and seen pictures of it, that it's really soft. Like, you know, when you have a Sharon fruit and you like, you know that little bit in the middle and it's all like soft and gooey. So I would buy it again, and I am going to buy it again, if I can find it again, because it's taken us a long, long time to find it. I will try it again, and then I might film it again, and you know, and also I think if I put it in the fridge, it'll probably taste a bit better as well. So if you've tried it, you let me know if it should be this hard, like this, look. Okay, did you hear that, look? That's how hard it is. Should it be this hard? What would you, what is the nearest fruit you can relate it to. Do you want me to try it again? And what other fruit or food would you like me to try? Let me know all those answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.